Well, her very first novel was turned into a film by none other than British children's author and author of so many things, actually, Roald Dahl. She was awarded a Dame Commander of the New Zealand Order of Merit, but chose not to be known as a dame. And her Mrs. Wishy Washy series has sold more than 40 million copies worldwide. Here now with her, to her brand new titles in her Freddie Bear series, it's Joy Carley. Joy, welcome to the show and thank you so much yeah, for joining yeah. us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Now, first I must say, this is uh, your Freddie Bear series are designed for little children up to about the age of four or so to be read aloud? Yes, it's read aloud for preschoolers. Um, I realise I've written for preschool before, but not quite like this because this is actually for the very young. Okay, let's just let me just try a little bit out on uh, somebody who's very young at heart. Then <laughs> there you go. Pages to you, Mikey. Okay? I look very young this is, too. This yes. is this is Freddie Bear and the Green Peas. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Freddie Bear wants peas for lunch. He says to Mother Bear. Please, Mummy, please. I want yummy green peas. Oh, nice. It rhymes too. That's what you do for young children. Mother Bear says, There are no peas, my little Fred. Have some tasty corn instead. Corn is yellow. Corn is sweet. I will give you corn to eat. Next page, next page. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us about the series. Well, the series is specifically for and about young children and their stages of development. So uh, there are four books now latest two about Freddie Bear and the Blanky because oh, so we've many all got children. Blankies, eh? yeah, yeah, Blankies, and sometimes we keep them, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. And Freddie Bear and New Faces. This is about shyness. The Green Peas one is about food fads, and the other one is about uh, those oops moments that happen with toilet training. Right. So, Joy, how do you come up with it? Because I guess when people look at a children's book, they think, OK, it's fairly simple in terms of reading it to a child, but there's clearly a lot of thought processes that go into it. So how do you approach when you write? When I write for children, actually I find it more difficult than writing for adults. Because if I write for adults, I write for myself. But writing for children, there's no such thing as the generic child. You have to write for a specific age group. So it means being very aware and knowing a lot about that age group you're writing for. Well, you've got that covered, haven't you? Because you've got uh, children, you've got grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren as well. Yes. Your youngest is a month so, old. I have a lot of material for resource. When people want to write for children and are not quite sure what age they're writing for, I say write for one specific child and you'll probably get the age right. When did you start writing, uh, you know, your first book? What age were you? Well, when I wrote my first book or when I started writing stories? When you started writing stories. Let's go right back then. Uh, I got a, had a love of story. Oral story, of course, before I could le learn to read. And I was a late reader for a number of reasons. Um, and I was about nine before I became a, a reader. And then it seemed to me that I became an instantly a, a great reader. Well, it didn't happen like that, of course. But I found that reading access story and story was addictive. We've got so much to talk to you about because not only have you written some fantastic books that are worldwide, but you've also met some incredible people during your yeah. career. Uh, one in particular, Raul Dahl, and I can remember watching a news article where I think it was Boston University released the letters that you and Raul Dahl had been corresponding with. Um, he was a fascinating man, wasn't he? He certainly was. I also uh, had a lot of letters from Patricia Neal, but uh, the programme were more interested in Raul Dahl. But Patricia Neal, his wife, after their marriage split up, she was travelling around America. She wrote a book about that and she also um, mentioned quite a bit about that film in the book. Right, so he took one of your books and turned it into a screenplay, mm. didn't he? Um, did he like the movie? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> I don't think anybody did. It was a very quiet, um, romantic story and somehow he managed to turn it into a very macabre thriller. <laughs> well, he was very good at that, though, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Yes. This was ab about a young man who murdered women. He was a necrophiliac. And so, so how to, he got that out of that book, I don't know. <laughs> but he did pay a lot of money for that. Um, and that bought 
this lovely property we had down in the sounds. Well, no, and, you know, beautiful that you've got that, you know, that book immortalised in a movie from such an incredible man. He called a spade a spade, really, didn't he? Yes, he did. Mm. Yes, he did. <laughs> and a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an awful lot more than that. Uh, Joy, I want to ask you about becoming a dame, because you chose not to be a dame, didn't you? Well, I chose not to wear the title. The, the honour came when there was no title attached. And it was a beautiful gift from my country, so I accepted it. But when the title came in, I think both Patricia Grace and I decided we wouldn't have the title because it separated us from other people. You know, I've got an honorary doctorate. I don't use that either. I want to use but... everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I work with children. And anything that separates me from children who simply know me as Joy or Joy Cowley... Um, Do they sing out when they see you in the streets, the kids? Oh, they lean over the school fence and as I walk past, G'day, Joy! <laughs> oh, lovely. And you, you don't know, want to lose that, do you? No, of course not. Is I'm that right. what you love the most about writing? I mean, you've got these two new books and the Freddie Bear series. Uh, and, you know, it obviously brings joy to kids. Is that what you love? Yes, and I think the earlier we start reading to children, the better. And children need to see themselves in their books to see the world that they live in and the, the, the challenges that they have and the fun that they have. So to, this is really about the... Um, it focuses on the little problems or the delights that very small children have. Nice Absolutely work. delightful books and kids everywhere are going to love them and their parents are reading them too. Joy, it's been a pleasure having you here. Uh, Joy Cowley's newest Freddie Bear books, Freddie Bear and the Blankie and Freddie Bear and the New Faces are available right now. Thank you, Joy. Yes, thank you so much, Joy. Absolute honour.